Molly Ringwall Roundtable. We spend a lot of time on the road and we have a lot of downtime that we can discuss many different topics. One topic that always comes up constantly is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The ones who are in it, the ones who should be in it, and the ones who gotten snubbed. So what we're going to do tonight is each member is going to give their top three acts who should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And then we will all discuss and come up with a top five list. And if that top five list is not in the induction ceremony for the following year, there's going to be trouble. So Platinum Randy Wild, you start. All right there, thank you. So my top three snubs for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame are as follows. Number one, Pat Benatar. Number two, Judas Priest. And number three, Duran Duran. Those are good. Those are strong. Are good. I vote for Duran Duran. I would have thought Duran Duran was in by now. Well, they're not, unfortunately. Band so nice, they should be in it twice, right? They should be in it twice. So should we discuss or you want to just... I think we should move on. All right, let's move on. Come on, Liam, what you got? Me? Okay. Here's my top three. My top three is, uh, let's start with a girl band, the Go-Go's. How have they not been in the, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Uh, then there's Chic. A lot of you may not remember the band Chic. I'm sure we'll discuss it more in a little while. And um, he's one of my favorites, Niles Rogers, obviously. And then we have the Meters from here in New Orleans, where we reside now. Uh, so we'll discuss more. What about you, Devin? What is your well, list? My top three, it's a little bit different. I went a little avant-garde because, of course, I'd vote Duran Duran in for sure. But I'm going producer. There's a bunch of uh, producers in the Hall of Fame, just like George Martin. I think one of the producers who absolutely should be in is Robert John Mutt Lane, for sure. We can get into details why I think that. Um, there's a misprint here, thank you. But uh, I think this is a very important one. The five original VJs from MTV. I think they should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as well. There's DJs in it, there's no VJs, and I think that they should be as well there. And then the last, of course, a band from England, Foreigner. So that's my three. Very good. That's a fantastic three. All of you have fantastic threes. I can't believe but we haven't got, got in there. It's crazy. Dude. Unbelievable. It's amazing. Now I had to I had to bump Lord Philip, but I went ahead and made this list right here. This is Dickie's three right here. My number one would be Three Dog Night. I don't understand why they're not in yet. They should have been in there a long time ago. Brian Adams. Why is Brian Adams not in the Rock Hall of Fame? He's Canadian. So, so is Rush. 30 miles away. I don't know. Right, understand. yeah, it's right across the border. They should just put him in, give him a key. And then there's Kenny Loggins. Kenny Loggins pretty much wrote the soundtrack for everything you've ever watched, ever. He should be in there. Like I said, number four was Lloyd Phillip now. <laughs> okay, oh, no. real quick. I, I want to know, this is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? Yes, it is. Rock and roll. It is the rock and roll. Rock and roll. Fame. And roll. Okay. Then we are not going to talk about uh, the guy that wrote the soundtrack for Winnie the Pooh. We're going to talk about rock. Hey, <laughs> that's oh, Return to the Corner. Here we go. Let, let's have some rock in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Here's my top three. Obviously, uh, uh, number three is uh, Slayer, who wrote the playbook for Thrash and, and, and Metal. Um, uh, number two, Ronnie James Dio who his works through many years, through many different lineups, have, have been prolific. And of course, number one, up the irons, Iron Maiden, right now, today, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I go with that. So let's, let's, let's kind of talk about one of the oddballs, because I'm curious on how you think about that. I think they should go in, but the original five MTV VJs, what are your thoughts on that? Terrible. No way. No, <laughs> no. No way. There are so many people that deserve to go in before they did. What the hell did they do? They got a, they got a gig. That's what they did. Yeah. I, would, yeah. I would put the person who invented MTV, whoever that, that person who oh, conceptualized it in that's, before I put them in. That's a good point there, too. Well, is that the same one that destroyed MTV? One. Well, that's then true, too. You get one around. VJ. One. Well, you don't get them all. <laughs> you get one. Oh, well, and no, if you no. get one, it's Martha Quinn. I Martha love Martha Quinn. Quinn. All right, all right, all right. Well, 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 that's 
scratched off the list until next time there. Yes. So let's do a, like a raise of hands to kind of limit this thing there. Um, I'm going to start off with Duran Duran. Show of hands who thinks Duran Duran should be yeah, the I'll go for thing, that one. I can go for okay, that. Okay, so we got Duran Duran there. I'm going to go with another one. I think Iron Maiden should absolutely be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If you agree, raise your hand. I, I, I agree, but there is no Iron Maiden without Judas Priest. There, it's a good, it makes a good point. Oh, that's true. Absolutely. All right, I'll take it it absolutely. If we're back. talking about seniority here, just like with the Go-Go's, uh, you know, Pat Benatar deserves to be in, she's the second video ever on MTV. Absolutely. She, you know, this is, she deserves to be in, to me. Now, what, what the Go-Go's did to me that was revolutionary was that they were, an, like, you know, just like the Runaways, they were an all-go band, but they were the first all-go band to be commercialized with bona fide hits. You know, and Absolutely. the Runaways right. were just a band that had one that was yeah, sort of it was one song. Yeah, more of a marketing campaign right. than anything for that. You know what I mean? Well, out of my three, then right. I, I think I would, you know, I would want Three Dog Night in. I think they deserve yeah. to be I in. I think they, they deserve, deserve to be in. From the uh, 70s. Out of these three, yes, I would want Three Dog Night. Absolutely. Okay, so so far we got Duran Duran. We're going to go Judas Priest instead of Iron Maiden. Is that correct? Ooh, because uh, you can't have both. Judas right Priest. Yes, you can. Uh, sla yeah. uh, Judas Priest slash Iron Maiden. Whichever one that. gets in first, the next one gets right, in. So next. let's go Duran Duran. Yeah. Judas Priest. That. Sure. Three Dog Night. We got yeah. two more left. We got about thirty seconds. So let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, let's, I, th I think Foreigner is really good. Foreigner, yes. I think Foreigner is a really good choice. How many hits? I think Brian Adams is so Foreigner has had about they've sold 80 million records and they've been around since the records. late 70s to the uh, 80s records. they're great records, records. Uh, you know they, they're staples on, on FM radio okay. they, they help build FM radio so let's, let's just let's, let's just, recap let's count this thing. we got Duran Duran we got yes. Judas Priest we got Three Dog Night we got Foreigner we got time for one more I'm gonna go girl band and I'm gonna go girl goes but the like floor it. is yours I think that's great we don't have a girl band in this list that we've put together, except for them. I like that I one. I can't think of a girl Show band. me do. Slayer. <laughs> Slayer. I like, I like right? the go-go's for it. Lord. I like have it. fun killing him. <laughs> All right. Well, there we have it. So then. that's it. Can't so think of a girl let's, band. Let's, let's write, read them off again. So the Marley top five who should be inducting next year in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame are the band so nice they named them twice, Duran Duran, Judas Priest, of course, British Steel, um, Three Dog Night, the biggest arena band of the 70s, Foreigner from England, and of course the girl band, the Go-Go's from California. So uh, maybe we'll do this again next year and hopefully they get in or we'll, we'll talk about whatever else we want to do, right? Correct. What he said. Yes. <laughs> what? That's very eloquent. <laughs> very eloquent, Dickie. Very eloquent. I look forward to my next syllable with great eagerness. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Until then, very next good. time, everyone. Peace and love. Peace Thank you, you very for much. watching.